Hi guys, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I'm Josh. I'm back from the Meekum auction in Harrisburg. Go back a couple days on the channel. You can watch that. I was down right on the floor. Got the action coming right at me. Cars, it was pretty cool to see some stuff going across the auction block and and see uh, all the nice cars down there in Harrisburg at the Meekum Auto Auction. So here we go. We're back on the Dodge chassis. Bam, here it is. And we're going to be building an exhaust system today in this video. Last time I rolled the chassis in, the cab is painted over there, rolled the chassis in, it's time to start assembling things. All I've got to do is Kirk build the exhaust out behind the cab here. It, while the body is off, it'll be a lot easier, and then we can put the cab on the frame. So the last video I teased this a little bit, uh, that was like a week ago. I had the stock head pipes off the other truck, these are headers. LA motor, or not LA motor, uh, Magnum motor, LA style headers on a Magnum motor, and they would essentially almost line up with the stock pipes, but I'm not going to use them since it dumps the exhaust down to one side. I want to run duals all the way back, and because this truck is a 1980 for New York State, I need to run catalytic converters because it had converter, a converter on it back here, actually back about here from the factory. So... I ordered some and I picked them up in Pennsylvania when I went to my buddy's house because New York State will not let you ship aftermarket converters in New York because they're a bunch of commie bastards. But guess what? Got them! So I ordered Flowmaster aftermarket converters, little guys. There they are right there. Whoop! And these are stainless steel. Right here. 2124. Oh, they're made in China, son of a gun. But these are good for the engine size I have. They'll be good, and they are uh, stainless steel, weld-on deals. So I'm going to mount them right about here in the exhaust system, get them up out of the way, and then we'll tuck the pipes back around, and i got these glass packs here. We're going to run two and, a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch exhaust. I have bits and pieces. I might have to get some more pipe because I get a feeling I'm going to be short. Maybe. Anyways, we'll at least get the end exhaust built back to the back of the cab. So this guy is going to go down in here. Let me uh, demo the old pipe out of the way because I want to make sure that I got room. I want to have it kind of be somewhat symmetrical, but I do have to fight with the clutch on one side and the drive shaft on the other. But I think, yeah, I can get this up here out of the way build a pipe and get this even about here, get it a good spot. It's a lot easier to do this with the cab off. That's why we're doing it right now. Okay, I pulled that stock pipe out of the way. What I got, I bolted the flanges on too for the headers, the down pipe, I believe is two and a quarter. So what I need, what I have here, I don't know, six or eight months ago, I was trying to put new head pipes in my F-250. And I bought a new head pipe from Rock Auto, and they sent me the automatic one, my truck standard, or maybe that was the only one available. But anyways, I ended up with this one, and I ended up just cutting the flange off the end I needed. So I've got all this two and a quarter inch brand new pipe hanging, hanging around for a purpose, and I think we've purposed it right here. Oh, no mercy. So I think I'm going to take and cut. Oh, actually, if I cut that... Oh, it's got a little kick around. Hold on a minute. It's a game of shapes here. I cut that. Maybe there. I come around and if I use this one, that one might be better. I'm going to cut this free. And we're going to see if we can do something with it. I also have some two and a quarter inch U-bends. Before I cut that pipe up, these are aluminized. The other pipe I think might not be. Ooh, hold on a minute. I kind of like that. That just kind of goes just like that. Ooh. I can suck. I might just, you know what? Hmm. Might use this two and a quarter inch pipe and just welder as we go. Okay, I cut up those Ford head pipes. I think the driver's side one is going to work like one cut and it's going to go almost all the way back. 
And over here on the passenger side, I've cut the flange off it of here, and I'm just trying to fit it up in. I've done a little pie cutting and grinding after I cut it, and I've got it so it kind of lays in here, fits the flange on the header, and it tucks over it like 45 degrees out here. Can you see that? I think so. But this double kick gives me room for the oil filter, which is always important. You got to be able to get that off. And I've just been trimming it and fitting it. I think it's going to work like this. I think I can tack it in place, get the first, get this leg on. It fits good to the piece on the header. Tack this. And then down here I need to bend over. And I'd like to take some of them U-bends, bend over and come up and like double kick it and put the converter right here and then run out around with some more bends. If I, I could put the converter low with just a kick, but then I have to come out of it pretty tight and I like to stay away from the drive shaft for articulation purposes. Get the welder out and tack her on. Um, I've cleaned up the edge. I don't know if this is a luminized pipe or not, but we're going to the head pipes get so hot, you know, they don't usually rust away. Usually it's the back part of the exhaust system. So hopefully that will be okay to use, even if it's mild steel pipe. It won't rot off. It'll last for quite a while, even if it is. I need to get organized. Once this truck gets out of here, I got to get organized because I'm running out of space to work. Everything is a complete an utter disaster. Disaster. The hard part is holding it where it's got to be, getting the welder in there and tacking it. My head's probably right in the way for you guys, but it's got to be is what it is for a second till I get this where I want it, which I think is right about there. Now, just got to feed the welder in. Tack her up on there. There we go. That wasn't so bad, but now, like I was saying, we're going to come off of here. Is that converter? want to get it right about here. Ish. We're actually back, so yeah, I think I can do a double, double roll, take some of that U-bend roller. I'd like to get it here, actually, so I can come out and kick around the drive shaft. So I gotta cut this 40, probably cut this U-bend right off the straight pipe. Or yeah, because it's got a roll. I need it like right in the center. It's got a roll in. Roll in and up like that. I think if I cut it right on the bend. Gives it a kick up and then as I come off of that I can kick over here and get where I gotta be. Yeah, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna cut the elbow off like zing or like there and make it back to back and cut a little bit of that off. And cut it here, flip this around, do a double offset, get up in here, and that'll lay this pipe up into like this. I'll probably shorten it up, put the converter right here. So if I do that double bend, then I got this piece that I cut off the pipe. If I can go straight out of the converter-ish, 
And then I got this bend here to get around the transfer case. Get over here near the cross member. Something like that. I don't know how close this is to the floor. I don't want to get it too high. Well, actually, exhaust came through here anyways, factory. So I'll get it like that. Use that kick to get it around the transfer case. And then right back... Right back out of there. That might look, that looks like it's going to work out pretty good. So I just got to up here, put the converter like right here. I could probably cut the pipe right here, take this flange off, have the converter start there. Use this kick. Man, that looks like it's going to work out good. Okay, I tacked the two elbows together back to back. And now we got the pipe looking up here. The converter is a kind of a sloppy fit. It's weld on, so it's actually going to give me a little bit of play. Where's my marker? I'm going to mark how far it needs to slip on here. Let's see, about there. Ooh, I just touched the weld, hot weld of my finger. That was a mistake. So if I lay it on like that, see it's got a little bit of slot, but we're going to weld her on there. So I give me a little bit of play there to mock that angle up. Now hopefully this pipe will... Oh no, it's too short. Wait a minute. Oh, that side's tight-ish. Dang. Dang it. It's a hair too short. How did that happen? This piece was longer and I cut about four inches of it off because I needed the This needs to be right about here. Shoot, nice. Bone myself in that deal. Hmm. Dang it. Maybe I can. If I don't. Barely slip that. I don't need the whole one inch over. If I just stick them in half inch either end, I think it'll just just make it like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna just make it. Well, this will get us around and get us going nice. Yeah, I really like this. This is going to be good. All right. I mean, uh, I'm going to cut, cut this off. I'm going to cut this uh, hanger off here. I'm probably going to hang it back there. I'm not going to hang it in this tight area. But I'll cut this off, cut that off, grind her up smooth. And then I think I can tack it all, tack it all and get it back to there. All right, I got that tacked together. Check it out. It looks good. It's hanging in there good. I'm just going to simulate here what we're going to work on. What it's going to do. I guess I'm, I'm going to have to get some more pipe. I'll get some straight pipe. I'll go back here past the back of the cab. I'm going to hang it. This is the cab rear behind the cross mount, right behind the cab. So I'm going to hang it off a bolt hole here. Hang these head pipes like that. I don't think I need any hangers closer. I'll probably put a hanger there and then a hanger behind the muffler and you know hang do a lot of the holding from the middle but this uh once this gets all tacked together and hangs from the end it should should hang in there pretty good but um now I can use this uh I can shoot for the bolt hole here and the bolt hole here get my pipe straight and parallel once I get past all this the driver's side will be real easy to just be pretty much straight but I can uh get them back parallel, then make everything from here back symmetrical for the exhaust, hang the mufflers and kick them out, I think in front of the tires. or We'll get the mufflers on. I probably won't do tailpipes right this second. Just want to, maybe I'll run it all the way out the back. I, I don't know. Uh, depends on what the fuel tank lays out and then actually the brake hose. Probably just kick out in front of the tires, I would guess. Make it, make it easier. Oh, wait a minute. Well, if we came up right here and had stacks, need stacks. Uh, I don't think we'll do stacks. Maybe we'll do stacks. 
Let's think about it. If I put the mufflers up here, where's the back of the cab? The back of the cab is here. So if I put the mufflers up here, I could turn 90s right here, and I could run stacks up the back of the cab into the flatbed and have stacks on it with flappers. Jeez, I don't know. I've never had a truck with stacks on it. How cool would that be? Uh-oh. It's like a little Red Express-ish. Actually, if I was going to have stacks, it should come out the outside where they'd be wide. Like, yeah, because the cab is pretty... Where's the cab mounts? Yeah, we'd have to come up and lay the stacks over at an angle. I could do that, though. could come up, roll them, kick them to the flatbed, and bring them up behind the rack of the flatbed. And then... Oh, actually, it's got a dump, too, though. How would I dump it with stacks in the dumping bed? Hmm. Does it make sense to put the mufflers inboard here? That way I could do whatever I want with the tailpipes. Actually, if the mufflers are inboard of the frame, then I could just, you know, I could do whatever I want with the tailpipes. We hang the mufflers like here. Boom. Here and here, hang the mufflers like that. Then that would allow me to do whatever I want. I could run the pipes out the back. I could run the pipes out the side. I could run the pipes into a double. Oh, these are actually kind of high. I'd have to drop down. Hmm. What's the scenario? But well, maybe it'd be good to get the mufflers here. Get the mufflers here. Because I was going to put them back here. Now there's lots to think about. If I put them up here. Hmm. Many options. There are many options. Okay, it's a few days later. I had to break down and order some pipe from Summit Racing. So let me show you what I got. I got one of their Builder Series exhaust kits. It's 240 bucks, and it comes, uh, this one's two and a quarter inch. It comes with a whole bunch of bends, and it comes with four uh, sections of four foot street pipe. The systems used to be aluminized, but now they come stainless steel, which is pretty cool. So I guess I'll have a, a stainless exhaust system that won't rust. So I've gone over here, and I've mocked up the pipe. Oh, actually, what else do I have? Where is it? I got, ah, I got one other thing from Summit here. Uh, I got some stainless steel band clamps, butt connector clamps. So like I said, I want to have the head pipes removable. So I'm going to cut these pipes. The muffler I'm going to hang here. I got the pipe kind of hanging. Well, you do a hanger in a second. But the muffler is going to be back here under the under this piece. And then... I'm going to cut the pipe somewhere in here, and then I'll have a lap or a, bat, a butt joint, and I'll use these clamps and just clamp the pipe solid uh, here in the middle. That way, if I want to ever take the exhaust system off, I can undo these clamps, and the front head pipes will come off, and the rest of the exhaust system will come off separately instead of using a slip together fitting like I usually do. Those are sometimes they're bare to get apart after they've been on there for a while, and usually the clamps loosen up and they uh, get loose. So I'm going to try these. I've never used them before, but I've seen people use them all the time. So we're going to, kirk, right there, put a band clamp here so the head pipes will be removable. Took out one of them straight sections of four, or four foot pieces and uh, just slipped it over here. And I'm going to just weld it right on there and leave it long. I'm going to leave it I want to match up to these bolt holes here. This is what I'm using for my alignment. These holes here to keep it straight. It's parallel with the bottom of the frame. Pretty much I got it wire tied. Then I got these like street rod style exhaust hangers that you basically weld the, the piece of the tubing right or the uh, bar right to the pipe. They're going to bolt on here. I'm going to cut this off so I just got one bolt hole showing. But bolt to the cross member. Then I'll tack weld that plate or this uh, bar, 
piece of rod, I guess, to the pipe and then heat it up and bend it around. And that'll hang that there. And then right behind that will be the cut for the muffler. And then I'll have another hanger back here on the back side of the muffler. So that'll that'll put all the you know the weight of the tailpipe. So I'll hang it twice on the frame. These will be mounted up here, hanging there, but with the clamps in the center, so it should be all removable very nicely. All right, I got the piece tacked on here. I went and I bolted the hanger on. I had to just put a tiny little bend in it. I'm just gonna go and tack it to the pipe right now. And then later, I take it off, I'll bend it around the rest of it. That's more of a tack, I guess. I'm going to change plans. We're going to put the mufflers under the cab up here. And then the hanger will still be back here. And I'll have the band clamp so the, they'll hang there. This will, uh, what am I trying to say? This will give me options. Where's that muffler clamp? Let's give me options. All the options. Yeah, okay. We can put this right here. Weld that on there. Put this right here. So that way the head pipe is still removable. The mufflers are up here. So I can do whatever I want for the exhaust system back there. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zing the pipe out. Cut, a, cut the length of this muffler out. We'll weld the muffler in place here and then I'll cut it again and put the band clamp on. late so I can't do any more welding tonight but I've got the uh, head pipe on this side tacked together. I took a 90 and I came down off the header and then I went to a 45. This is all a new pipe and oh, I'm sweeping up. I got the clutch arm here so I've got to come up behind that a ways. So what I do is I take these and I cut the overlap down to about, I don't know, half an inch or so. So I barely get any overlap and then I weld that together. So right now it's pretty tight. Like out here, I got a little bit of play, but that's gonna roll in like that. And I'll cut the, the big swedge off this. But essentially this will roll, you know, I cut the swedge off, but it'll roll it right about there. And then I'll cut this off here and put the converter, the converter will be back about six, eight inches more on this side, but I need room. I don't know exactly how far the clutch operates, so I'm going to leave a bunch of room for it so I don't get jammed up with that. <clears throat> but rolling this over here, they'll get the pipe here. I'm lining up my bolt hole here. So instead of doing a kick around the transfer case, I'm going to kick it up front, and then we'll put the muffler here, and it should be pretty much symmetrical. The cat, the cat will just be back a couple more inches on this side, but the mufflers will be in the same place. Okay, it's the next day. I jumped ahead just a little bit. I just built the rest of the driver's side exhaust system. It's pretty symmetrical. Um, I had a dimple. This, this muffler must have been used of clamps. Well, I guess they were both clamped on, but it wouldn't slide on the pipe side. So I cut it like an inch off it. So it slid ahead just a touch more because I would already trimmed this pipe. So it's ahead just a touch more of it. I mean, you can see it just a little bit, but that's not going to matter. The pipes are hanging at the same height. Um, I ran out of, because that's a longer piece. This rear piece is shorter, but I've got the 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 uh, spigot end of it here. 
I'm just gonna leave these tails wild like this until I figure out what I wanna do. But it's mounted up the same. Uh, it clear, it should clear the clutch linkage. You know, the arm comes down here and it's gonna push back. So this is definitely out of the way. I hugged it up tight to the transmission to get to get it lined up over there. So it's away from everything. But since it's hooked to the engine, you know, when it wiggles around like that, it's no way it can hit the transmission. And this clamp will go here just like the other side, so we can have uh, uh, remove the head pipes, which I'm gonna do right now, because I'm gonna need to weld them all the way around, and then I'll reassemble them. It doesn't look symmetrical from the back because the pipes are cut off, you know, different lengths, but it is, and, <clears throat> and that's what it looks like looking down the way. It uh, kind of symmetrical-ish, you know, I got the transfer case bump, the catalytic converters are within like an inch or so of being the same off the engine. And, uh, you know, it's got similar length action. Uh, there's no crossover pipe. I could put a Y, you know, I could have put a Y pipe in it down here under the drive shaft, but I've never run, I know they make more power and scavenge and all that stuff, but I've, made, I've built a lot of dual exhausts, never ran, ran an H pipe. I'm not making huge horsepower on a, race car so it's going to be fine that's going to do it for the exhaust system it's all set thanks for watching next time my friend jordan is coming over and we're going to put the cab on the frame um it should go pretty good sneak peek oh don't look at it okay next time we're gonna to have to check that out so thanks for watching i can't wait to hear how this exhaust system sounds it should sound pretty good but you'll have to stay tuned when we get the dodge project finished up in the meantime prepare for that Oh, you saw a little bit of it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time at the Quick Speed Shop. Don't forget to subscribe. Do all the stuff. Hit all the things, the what you call it. Make sure you do that so we can keep making content like this Dodge build over here that you can't see right this second.